So I've been wanting to make this video for quite a long time. And yes, the title states, your cardio equipment is lying to you. As a matter of fact, my cardio equipment is lying to me. All of our pieces of cardio equipment, all our pieces of smart fitness equipment, all our wearables to a certain extent, depending upon where it's placed, are all lying to you. What I mean is most of these pieces of equipment, whether it be smart fitness, a regular treadmill, elliptical, bike, or even a wearable, are using an algorithm that's very generous when it comes to calories burned, miles traveled, distance, all that stuff, especially calories burned. Because as a man who's 52 years old and trying to still lose fat, lose a, bit, a little bit of weight, change my body composition and stay as fit as I can, the amount of calories in and also calories out, making sure I'm at a caloric deficit is extremely important. And if the calories, like we're gonna show in a minute here, are off, are inaccurate, then you don't have a good gauge of being in a caloric deficit because you're counting on metrics that are actually very, very inaccurate and trying to be generous to say, yeah, you're doing a great job there. Yeah, you're losing weight. You're burning a lot of calories. You're traveling a lot of miles. But in the end, they're actually hurting you and not helping you. Now let's look at here. I have 283 workouts completed, 426 0.05 miles traveled, 71,365 calories burned, and an average pace of 13 minutes, 20 seconds. Now, when we look at this, obviously 283 total workouts is accurate, but then the distance, for me especially, the calories and the pace, depending upon your goals, if these are off, and inaccurate, say you are running for time and you're running a pace that you wanna make sure you're running a 5K, a marathon, sprints, whatever, then the average pace and the total distance here are definitely, definitely important. But the most important metric for me is calories burned right there. And we're gonna add all this up, all three metrics, comparing it to Apple Fitness. Now, once again, I'm wearing an Apple Watch, which is, pretty accurate, but the most accurate way you're gonna get your heart rate, calories burned and all that stuff is with a chest monitor, a heart rate monitor that you put on your chest. You can always pair it to your Apple watch, your Samsung watch, your Garmin watch. You could pair it and still use it and get the benefit of looking at everything here on the watch. But right here is gonna be slightly inaccurate compared to this, depending upon the algorithm, but definitely holding on to the heart rate monitors on a piece of cardio or something like that, it's gonna be all over the place. And that's how we got most of these readings based off of that. So here's all the totals here, but I'm gonna to go to the, my most recent workout. And here we are right here. You can see we have 4.5 miles, peak of 4.7. That's the average what I've done over the 283 workouts. We have an incline of four right here and then the heart rate is where it gets a little tricky. An average heart rate of 80 beats per minute, my peak is 108, but it's always kept me at that low end, no matter how hard I'm working on the treadmill, running, doing intervals or anything like that, it stays right around there because gripping those handles, those heart rate sensors is completely the most inaccurate way uh, to measure your calories burned and your heart rate. So I wanna take a closer look at the metrics down here, especially two of the metrics, distance, but especially calories burned. So 2.30 miles distance, 391 calories burned. Right here, this is the number I'm most concerned with. The distance is okay, but the calories burned. I'm gonna tell you why in a second, because we're gonna bring up the Apple Fitness stats and you can see right here. Now the distance I had on the treadmill was 2.30 miles. This is giving me more distance of 2.56 miles right here. 2.56 miles right there, as you can see, close up, 2.56 miles. So as we pinch it in there, now this is the important number right here for me. 360 calories burned, and as we go back to here, 391 calories. So it's given me 31 more calories that I haven't burned. Now the Apple Watch could be 
using an algorithm, obviously it is, and the chest strap will give me an even more accurate reading, but here, give me an extra 31 calories. Say it's 30, let's make it even 30 calories. Over the course of seven days, that's 210 calories. Over the course of 283 workouts, that's a lot. We're gonna bring that up because I can't do the math right now. But look at this. This number compared to that number is very, very different. Now, the number that doesn't really concern me, but once again, we are completely off right here. An average pace in Apple Fitness using the Apple Watch is right here, 1211 per mile. We go over here, bring it up, 1320 per mile. So it's off by a lot. This isn't off by much, the 391 and then comparing it to the 360. But for me, that still adds up. It adds up when you're trying to have a 500 calorie deficit, caloric deficit per day. As you go on the treadmill longer, it's gonna become even more inaccurate or any kind of piece of cardio equipment that you're counting on the equipment to do it, it's always going to be off. So 30 minutes here, but say I was using 30 minutes on an elliptical or a spin bike and going to the much, much more intense pace. This is just your standard steady state cardio. But what if I was doing HIIT training? What was I, what if I'm doing other things that's going to be completely off. Once again, I recommend wearing a chest strap first. You want to pair it to a wearable, but this wearable is definitely more accurate than this, and it could be killing your fitness gains. Now, we're talking about 30 calories times 283. I'll put the number up on the screen. That is a lot of calories to be off over time when you're trying to really hit numbers. You're trying to be scientific with your weight loss, with your muscle gain, changing your body composition, fat loss, whatever diet you have too, not having the calories dialed in when you put it in there based off your workout is really gonna hurt any kind of potential gains that you might want. Now, if you're somebody that's training for distance, once again, this is gonna give you a false reading compared to something you know, more powerful like the Apple Watch isn't bad, but a Garmin Phoenix with a GPS and you're running outdoors compared to running on the treadmill. 2.56 miles distance here, 2.30 miles distance there. So 0.26 miles times 283. How much are you off on distance if you're running or doing some kind of sport for distance, sprinting, long distance, whatever it might be, this really does throw it off. And like I said earlier, most people do understand this, but for the people that don't, I really wanted to really demonstrate the numbers here and how much you can be off the longer you train during a session and the amount of workout sessions you do when the numbers and the metrics are completely off. So that's about it. I just wanted to show this to you. Hope you're getting value from this. And like I said, as a man over 50, as a man who's 52 years old, it's very important to get these numbers as accurate as possible. And then when everything's off and I'm not quite understanding, it could be something as easy, and maybe you're in the same boat, something as easy as counting on the wrong type of metrics and numbers in your fitness journey. So please invest in a heart rate monitor on your chest, pair it with the Apple Watch, or at least have something like an Apple Watch, which really does about as closely resemble the chest monitor or the chest heart rate monitor that you would normally use. I've been very satisfied with mine, but once again, you're working off an algorithm, you're working off an estimate, no matter what type of smart technology, wearable, and especially a piece of cardio equipment will give you. So please be cautious, be careful, have fun working out, and most importantly, God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.